Gutterman Group is a go. Yes! <laughs> Not just a startup, an upstart. Got to get going. Got to be good. Good? Good. Growth is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business, and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good? That's great. 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 <laughs> I love logistics. Akron clobbers Valparaiso 100 to 65. Anita Brown scored a game high 21 points with 15 of them coming in the second half when the Zips took control of the game. Five players scored in double digits and 11 players scored overall for Akron and balance was the key in the victory. Uh, you know, a great team effort. I thought the first half uh, we had a chance to, uh, you know, put the nails in the coffin and end it and uh, uh, we got a little foul trouble, and uh, I think we had an 18-point lead. They got it down to 12. So I was a little bit disappointed how my bench played in that first half. You know, we have a good enough bench that when we do get in foul trouble or things aren't working right, I got to count on them. So I was a little bit disappointed with them, but I thought the second half, I thought the bench did a much better job. I thought we shot the ball extremely well in that second half. I mean, Valpo is a very, very good team. Uh, they had a good record coming in. And you know, that second half, we just, we just shot the ball extremely well, high energy, got a lot of transition points. You know, we talk about our team all the time about being in shape. And, uh, you know, I thought they got a little bit tired and, and we had our second win and we got a lot of transition points in that one stretch. Well, I was really disappointed with Dee when she picked up her second foul, just because of the fact she was working so hard. She was giving us a big time rebound. She started to shoot the, the three really well, so that hurt us a little bit. And um, you know, unfortunately, Anita picked up a, a second foul trying trying to help her teammate out that wasn't in the right spot. So I felt bad with her. Um, but uh, you know, it was good I think for the bench to get that opportunity to play, and, and we're going to need them this year uh, in the first half, in the second half, in the MAC play, in the tournament. And so I think that was a good experience for them. And you know, to have five players in double figures, you're, you're always happy with that and I was just really happy with the game plan um, thought it was a great scout we had three days to prepare for them uh, we try to change things up on how we're going to defend their ball screens so that way they weren't too comfortable um, and I thought that gave them a little problems from trapping to not trapping to switching to not switching and I thought again our kids did a great job in our preparation for the game. Akron improves to 4-0 this season. The Zips leave town for the first time this year when they head west to Denver for the Denver Thanksgiving Tournament where they'll take on Belmont on Friday afternoon. Reporting from James A. Rhodes Arena, I'm David Suntup for GoZips.com.